Hello. I'm, I'm... Yes, sir, you're audible. Hello, am I audible? Yes, sir, you're audible. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, so, um, I would request uh, the, uh, the this is a self-driven activity conducted from uh, Computer Applications Department with IIC. I would like to uh, request uh, uh, all the fa faculties and the dignitaries and including uh, Sabbas, as you said, the speaker. Uh, so I would, uh, I would uh, want uh, Shuswagata to take over the mic and be the moderator for the event. So Shuswagata, uh, can you take over from now on? Yeah, thank you, sir. Yeah. Hello, everyone. So we have gathered once more out here uh, on the special occasion. Uh, we will be having some good things. We will be learning new things from our great teacher, from a great teacher today we will be getting. That's Mr. Sabhi Sachi Mukhopadhyay. Hello, sir. I think you are present out here. Uh, so at first, I would like to introduce this fact that this is a uh, hello, am I audible to everyone? Yes, yes, please go ahead. Oh, yeah, thank you. Uh, so uh, at first, I will, I will say that this is a startup builders and innovation, uh, incubation of innovation ideas that has been hosted by or presented by the Department of uh, Computer Applications of Techno India University. So I welcome all of you out here and I also welcome to the dignitaries of today's session, Mr. Ravi Ranjan, the president of IIC of Techno India University. Our speaker for today, Mr. Sabhisachi Mukhopadhyay, our honorable HOD sir, uh, Dr. Anil Bikas Chaudhary sir, and our very own sir, Somadeep Das sir. So I welcome all of you and also Gopal Purukait sir. I think sir is here. So uh, at first, I would like to call on stage uh, Mr. Ravi Ranjan, sir, uh, the president of IIC or Innovation of uh, Institutions Innovation Council. That's a ministry of HRD initiative, and he's the president of Techno India Universities. So, sir, uh, I would like to say, uh, I would like you to say some words to all of us. Thanks a lot, Susagata. Uh... I would like to take this opportunity first of all to welcome all the students. Uh, it's a it's a it's a Monday evening. I'm sure you must have had already a very long day, but you guys are all here. I see a very very good turnaround. So you guys have already taken the first step or the first leap towards building your innovative uh, you know career. I think you all deserve a huge round of applause, and we are very proud that uh, you know as part of the Techno India family, you. All of you are uh, looking forward to learn something new. I would like to also take this opportunity on behalf of Techno India University IIC to congratulate uh, Mr. Gopal Puraki, Dr. Anil Bikas Chaudhary, uh, Swamadeep, and everyone else from the organizing team to put up this very interesting show. Um, finally, I would also like to uh, uh, extend my warm regards to Mr. Mr. Sabisachi Mukhopadhyay, um, who has been kind enough to agree uh, to do this session. Uh, a quick word about uh, Mr. Mukhopadhyay. He's a two times TEDx speaker. Uh, he's an entrepreneur, Intel innovator. Previously he has been running initiatives such as Google developer, Facebook developer. Uh, he has been quoted in various papers across the world. He's a regular speaker at various events. And interestingly, Professor Mukhopadhyay is also one of the senior faculty at a very unique program, um, MBA in entrepreneurship, uh, which is offered by Techno India University. When we talk about entrepreneurship, uh, I think all of you have been uh, looking at the events which we have been organizing under IIC. Um, we are trying to cover all the aspect right from ideation to uh, creation of a business plan, uh, to look at how feasible your idea is. Uh, today, we are going to talk about uh, startup builders and incubation of innovative ideas. As you understand, uh, when you start a venture, there are various phases. One of the most important phase is the incubation, which is primarily to validate your business idea and to 
provide you the support so that you can nurture your thoughts and go to the next level. And that's exactly what we're going to do today in the today's session. I would request all of you to uh, spend uh, you know, time and be very, very, um, I would say, observant to listen to everything what Professor Mukhopadhyay is going to explain to you. Once again, congratulations to the entire organizing team. And thank you so much to all the students who have joined the event today. Uh, over to you. Thank you so much, sir, for your so kind words. And uh, as all of you know that this is a, our Techno India University is so much into this entrepreneurship thing, and we love to do this. And so today we have a very eminent speaker with us, that is Mr. Sabhisachi Mukhopadhyay. Let me also, uh, I think you got a lot of uh, information about him from Raviranjan sir. And yes, he's a former data scientist. He is a MS from IIACR Kolkata. He's also a faculty member of, of the senior most of Techno India University. He's a former tech entrepreneur. He was awarded as the top uh, global innovator in 2019. He was a two times TEDx speaker. He's also a distinguished speaker in Society for Data Science. And he was also the top, and he's also the top 50 Indian innovator right now. So, sir, I would like to give over to you the mic, sir. Thank you very much to you for the generous introduction. And I am very much thankful to the IIC of Techno India University for inviting me here. So uh, let us let us start today's discussion. Now you see that in our society, every day we observe some sort of the challenges. Most of us complain, few of us told about chalta hai, chalta raega, but there are very, very small amount of the solvers actually. And, and the path to the entrepreneurship is, is big, is, is begins basically with, with that kind of the solvers journey. Okay. That whenever you, you, are, you are visualizing some sort of the problem, what will be your approach to solve that particular problems? So let me share the screen and let us start our discussions. <clears throat> so just a second uh, let me go to the slideshow so basically whenever we, we are we were discussing that there are two things comes up whenever we are talking about the ideas okay for 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 incubations or for for entrepreneurial journey for from the engineering perspective or the technology perspective we often talk about that either we are going with innovation or either or we are going with the invention Okay, so the main question which comes up often in our mind and which we sometimes the youngsters get puzzled that what is the difference between innovation and invention. So the innovation is something that which was existing earlier, okay, you are putting something new features to it, and you are modifying it, you are giving it a new shape that is innovation, but invention is something out of box which was which people never have thought about it, you thought about it and you have implemented it, and that is called you know invention. So it is quite understandable that. Innovation may, means that something X is existing, you are planning or proceeding towards next. Okay, so we can talk about the idea hexagon. And that is where we are, we, are, we, we, are, we, are, we belong to this, this particular developing country, where we have a lot of challenges, where we can actually start from X and find out next. So that can be possible with the help of the idea hexagon. Right, so like I was mentioning that in our society, whenever we observe certain problems, we have the tendencies of complaining, chalta hai, chalta raiga kind of thing, sometimes we ignore, but there are very few number of the solvers and this solving capacity is the main, main intuitiveness where you can start your startup journey. And I believe that there are the students who are from the Techno India University and, and from the other institutes, they have that kind of the potential because you see that everybody in this world have their intrinsic capacity of, of innovating of, of, of innovating within their selves. But it is our, it, it, it requires a proper direction that in which direction you are planning to shape your, shape your career, shape your thought process, okay? So like I was mentioning that given X, what is next? That is, that is the resource of starting our innovative thought process, okay? So for example, now let us check this, this particular figure. If you see, there is basically an idea hexagon, okay? If you, think, if you, if you see all the nodes, it, it, is giving you the, if you giving, it is giving you the pathways of how to innovate, okay? How you can, you can nurture the thought process and you can spot out the challenges and you can pick up your pathways of innovation journey, okay? So ideation is, is, a, is, a, is a main thing which you have to be focused on very much. So for example, 
like if you see it, if you talk about the Flickr, okay, you all know that Flickr is a very good, good, good medium of share photos. Whenever the Flickr was sold, it was sold in few million dollars. Okay, but what's next? If you go to the higher dimension than the photo, it becomes the videos, right? So we are talking about the YouTube, for example, it's a great platform of sharing videos. Now, whenever the YouTube was sold, okay, it was sold in multi-billion dollars. So from sharing photos to whenever you are proceeding towards the higher dimension, okay, from photos to videos, you can see the valuation is increasing, right? So for example, if you see next, the first, first, in, first node of the idea hexagon where we are starting our ideation, if you see that data, text, images, videos, okay, so we are gradually proceeding towards the higher dimensions, right? So for example, stereo glasses, we all know that is a very good for, for visualizing for the 3D movies. But what's next? What about visualizing our real world 40 volts? Can we think about some something like this kind of stereo glasses? So these are the these are the scenarios where you can make your make your make put a trust on your thought process and plan up that if given X, what is next? Because whenever nowadays you see all in all the institutes, uh, top institute like even Technical University, all have the incubation opportunities. So whenever you have some startup ideas, you can go there, you can discuss with the mentors. So there are always opportunities. But what kind of problem should you solve? That is that is most mostly challenging thing to spot out the right problem, addressing in the right way is the main challenging task. So that is reason your proper thought process is very plays a very very vital role there. Now you see, for example, in the in the second second node of the idea hexagon, that is next. Okay, given X, what is next? Now, for example, if two dissimilar things are there, if you are making a fusion of it, for example, like you are making fusion between X and Y. Okay, so the more the dissimilar will be the thing, the more will be the better will be the fusion. Especially in last two years in the COVID era, we have seen the necessity of the ambulances. For example, we have, we have seen that in that if there are narrow lanes, especially if you come to the Havra side, you can see there are a lot of narrow lanes we have seen. And most of the cases we have found that the, the ambulances are facing problems to penetrate on those narrow lanes and it is becomes very much difficult for carrying the patient. Okay, so uh, so what what are the ways we can, we can what are the ways we can think about it? For example, if we can use the front engine of the auto, we and we can club it towards the back back side of the patient carrier side of the ambulances. So what that that can be an innovative approach where where this 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 hybridized vehicle can easily penetrate those narrow lanes. Can't we think about in this in that angle? So. These are the ways we can spot out the regular problems of our society and you can make some optimum planning of resolving those kind of the problems. So the more that, like I mentioned, that the more will be the dissimilar, dissimilarity in the things, the more will better will be the fusion. So that's the reason this is one of the, this is, this is one of the major way of, of putting trust on your thought process that is X plus Y. Okay, where X and Y are two dissimilar things, you can clap them together and you can plan off something new which can create impact on billions of lives. Now, definitely, uh, this is one of the area. Uh, clear. Hello. Uh, uh, Any, so anything you want slides, to say? Yeah. So your slides are not rolling. That's on. Okay. Just a second. Then I have to. What I have to do? I have to just use in this way. Okay. I have to stop this slide sharing. And what I will do? I will individually click on the slides and present in front of you. Because okay, I so was clicking enter button, it is showing that it is moving. But in your case, it may happen that you are not being able to visualize that whether it is moving or not. So anyway, so while I was there, that first slide we, we talked about going to higher dimension. That was uh, we started with given X. What is next? We started with the Flickr, which is was a great for, uh, photo, uh, great share, photo sharing platform. So we moved to YouTube. Whenever we we moved to the higher dimensions, like YouTube, you see. The Flickr was sold in two billion dollars. YouTube was sold in multi billion dollars. We have seen with, with the higher dimensions, the valuation was increasing. Okay, so right from the beginning, if you see the data, text, audio, images, and videos, so every cases X was existing, you are developing next. Okay, so given X, finding next, it is the first node of the idea hexagon. Then I talked about that we all know that the stereo glasses are great for visualizing the 3D, 3D movies. We all have experience on that. So is there something which can we can visualize the real 4D worlds? Can we develop something like that? So that is going all about going to the higher dimensions. 
Now we, we talked about next is the fusion of the two dissimilar things where I highlighted one of the major problems that ambulance are unable to penetrate those narrow lanes, especially in Haura region, we have seen this kind of the common problems, especially in the COVID era, we have experienced this kind of the problems are very common. So what, what can be the solution? For example, the front engine, can we clap the front engine of the auto along with the patient carrier side of the, uh, of the ambulances? So if we can clap them, then this hybridized vehicle can be able to penetrate those narrow lanes. So can we thought about in that angle? So the more will be the dissimilar kind of the thing, the better will be the idea generations. Okay, and you can you can you can you can you can take the help of the incubation centers like Techno India University having a very good incubation center where you can get the guidances from the eminent people like Ravi Ranjan is there. So they these are the very much prudent people, very much veteran people to guide your ideas. But the thing is that you have to make some make something new which can have the mass level impact. Okay, so we have thought out we can, we can align our thought process on that angle. Now, for example. This is given a hammer, find all the nails. Okay. So, and then I, the fourth node is given a nail, for example, given a nail, find all the hammer. So, this is a vice versa process. I repeat the node three, given a hammer, find all the nails. And the node four, given a nail, find all the hammers. So, this is a vice versa process. So, for example, if we are planning to, for, to develop this smartphone based approach to make a crop prediction, or for example, some smartphone based devices for, to detect cancer. Okay. So, in those cases, what happens that we always start from the start from the capturing the spatial domain information. So, for example, uh, we, are, we are capturing the live data of some data of the crop and we are we are we're trying to predict it. Or for example, if somebody has skin cancer, we may we may we may capture the photo of the skin cancer and from a mobile phone app, AI based app, we are trying to predict that whether it is a skin cancer or not. So in those cases, what happens that the whenever we are dealing the data with the spatial domain, it is a live data, mind you. So there are always chances of the interfering with the spray light, stray lights with the original images. So now you see in spatial domain, image and noise, noise means unwanted signal that remains in a convoluted format. So once we do the Fourier pre-processing, so what will happen that once you go to the frequency domain, so they becomes in a multiplicative format. So due to the convolution theorem, once they becomes in a multiplicative format, so it becomes easier for you to remove the noise, then they are in a convoluted format. So once your pre-processing state is correct, then if we apply some sort of the classifier, it can be machine learning based approach, it can be deep learning based approach, you will be able to get the proper accuracy because in data, science domain, your pre-processing steps matters a lot. So this kind of divisive as approach, you may face some problems in spatial domain, you may go to frequency domain, whenever you are facing some kind of the problems in frequency domain, you can come to the spatial domain with doing the inverse Fourier transform, and you can resolve the issues. So this kind of divisive approach is, is necessary for any kind of the, uh, the, the technology development kind of things. Okay, this is one of the angle which I talked about the people who are from the, the, uh, the computer science uh, uh, or, or the physics background, or those kind of relevant backgrounds, they may be they, they can be under they, they can understand it quite well, that it would sometimes we may require from spatial domain to go to frequency domain, we may sometimes do the inverse Fourier operation from frequency domain to come to spatial domain and resolve those kind of the challenges. So that's the reason I was mentioning that find, given a hammer find all the nails or given a nail, find all the hammers. So note number three and four of the idea hexagon plays a very, very vital role in our life. Now you see that this, now we are gradually proceeding towards the note five, but remember that not only it's related to technology, you can go to beyond technology and you can make a, a parallel analogy of that. And you take the help of this kind of idea hexagon. Now you see that in the fifth note, okay? Now, whenever we are developing something existing thing, Okay, I mean, developing new thing from those existing thing. So you're often having some common practices. Okay, so add, we keep on add, add, adding some adjectives. Okay, so for example, uh, like you see adaptive, okay, distributed, hierarchical, efficient, okay, or, 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 or for example, democratized. So for example, computing, distributed computing. Okay, Fourier transform, another effective method, Develop method fast Fourier transform. Okay, so in this way, we always we always keep on some adding some adjectives before those existing methodologies, and we are trying to build up the new things. So this kind of the innovative policies are playing a very very vital role there. So so naming giving a proper name to your innovation also also an art. 
Okay, and that kind of the art you have to resolve with this kind of the you can see in the screen there are a lot of a lot of interesting adjectives are moving on, and we have always have come across those things very common whenever we are talking about something new, some new technology, some new some new developed process. We always add, add some name: filtering, adaptive filtering, computing, distributed computing, Fourier transform, first Fourier transform. Okay. Okay, so the, uh, this kind of the approach are very very common in our in our in our in our era. Okay, so now you see another important step that is the sixth note of the idea hexagon. That is do exactly opposite. Now this is the this is the, uh, the I mean the I mean the what I should say this is the main resource point of being innovator to inventor. Okay, doing exactly opposite. If you see the X bar, next X bar. That means this is the this is the area where you have to think something out of box, which was not existing earlier. And whenever you are thinking and developing something which was not existing earlier, then you are becoming you know, from innovator to inventor. So that is the joint point. Okay, that is a resource point, and this is very very vital area that all those earlier five nodes was driving you to become an innovator. But this particular node of the idea hexagon is making you from innovator to inventor and that is you require to understand because you see incubation centers will be there mentors will be there but the idea is yours okay so one, until or unless you are very much clear from your inner, inner side that okay i have to follow this path or i want to develop these things okay then you will not be able to convince others okay because people whenever you come to some ideas okay you come to some prototype you may develop some prototype and you may come to some some expert but until or unless you are confident from your inner side you will not be able to convince others because people will ask you questions so anybody you may go with your with your innovation inventions whatever you may call you may go to that people and say that i want to i have developed it okay i i need your guidances okay i need that kind of funding okay so such that i can scale it up for the mass level uh, purpose so uh, i require help in go to market study so that kind of problem will come up but before that, your 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 thought process should be very very clear, and to 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 make the brainstorming in a proper way, in a coherent manner. This kind of the idea hexagon plays a very very vital role to guide you in a proper path and in a proper proper track. Okay, so that's the reason these six nodes of the idea hexagon plays a very very vital role there. Okay, and nothing to worry about. It. I will share it with the organizers such that all of you can get the benefit of this idea hexagon. So given X, what is next? Okay, that is the that is the main thought process which you should develop first, and then next, what comes up once you get this kind of the guidances of the developing be, becoming innovator to invent inventor. Okay, now that is the what kind of the problem we should solve. That plays a very very vital role because you see there are a lot of challenging problems you, you may spot out, but what kind of the problem we should should we solve? Okay, that should be something meaningful. From which you can you can start your own startup journey, okay? Where you where where which, where you can incubate yourself in, in a very good incubator. So in very good incubation center, you can take the support, you can get this set funding. But what kind of the problem should you solve? So let us focus one by one. So goal is that what now, now we have to for example first of all we can pick up a team, okay? Basic goal is obviously the what is the problem of solving now? Let us pick up a team. So it can be digital tech in agriculture. We can we can pick up the thing, okay? And in in your mind, we have some different ideas, okay? So what I will do, I will pick up this team, digital tech in agriculture, and I will map it with the healthcare domain, okay? Some problems related to healthcare domain that we will follow this path and how we can map this idea with the healthcare domain. Some problems related to healthcare domain. You may plan off your own ideas with your own domain. Okay, for example, you may have some great idea in, in related to banking sector. You may have great, some something great idea in the blockchain domain or some other domain. You may have something new ideas. So you can try to map this idea. Okay, the, by following this path, following this following this pathways which which have been shown in those slides. So first of all, we start with the resource map. Okay, under the resource map, we'll discuss about people, organization, user beneficiaries, okay, breakthroughs and risk factors. Then we'll talk about the problem canvas. Okay, then we shall talk about the solution canvas, and finally finding plots. Because you see, the journey, overall journey of the entrepreneurship, any tech-based entrepreneurship, depends on the few few parts. First of all, proper philosophy. Which, which which should be very much crystal clear about you that what you want to do. Second comes the help of science. Third, the help of technology. Fourth, the help of the marketing. Okay, and finally, all these things will help you 
to get the overall overall success of your entrepreneurial journey okay so these the with with these four four pillars you have to touch one by one so the this ideation stage whether we are talking about the idea management with the idea hexagon okay where you are becoming the the uh, in from in, in, innovator or inventor then you are gradually coming towards the the what kind of the problem you should solve with the help of this kind of the resource map following this following the path from the resource map uh, problem canvas solution canvas to finding plots then gradually what will happen that you will get you will pick up some theme okay you will gradually do your own research okay it can be it, where, where you require the help of the science and technology and once your prototype is developed then you will require the help of the market research okay that what are the possibilities of, 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 of scaling your products okay how to how to make the go to market strategy and all those things will come up gradually so so first start with the resource map okay so under the resource map these things we are going to discuss so first of all under the organizational list okay so here you see that for example you have to figure out that 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 what are the data sets and information resources so for example we we, we may plan up uh, for example if your problem problem is uh, you want to provide some solutions related to the crop prediction kind of thing so you have to make a training data set okay so where can you get those goes go get those data sets so either there, there are two ways of data collection either you can be you, you can be yourself you can deploy yourself for the data collection you can have your own team which is a primary data resources or you can download the data from this some some secondary resources so that can be for example nowadays all of you are quite aware of the kaggle okay you can download data from there you can download data from github you can download data from the other online resources okay which are very much useful in, in downloading those data sets okay so i saw the one student is raising the hand okay so i will take the question at the end don't worry i will take everybody's question at the end so nothing to worry about it so we will we will collect the data set from from those resources okay then for example you have to you have to figure out that that who can be the who can be your possible partners now like i told you that we will try to map the same problem like we have figured out for the agricultural domain so we'll try to map the same problem for the healthcare domain you may find out for for, for the same thing for your domain this is called the brainstorming okay so you may try out you have if you have some idea you can try out to make an analogy make an analogy for your own domain like for example if you are planning in healthcare domain then how will you collect the data sets so for example if you really want to build some product okay then then um, in, you can do some initial testing of your approach by downloading on, on i mean online data sets and all those things those are the secondary resources but for yourself for example you can you can you are planning to develop something related to the smartphone based cancer detection for example i'm saying so what you have to do you have to tie up with hospitals now you see that whenever you will approach to hospitals so what will they say they will basically give you uh, to sign the irp protocols because you have to convince the doctors that whatever the rules tools and methodologies you will use that should not be harmful to human body so you will sign the irp protocols then you have to take the consent from the patient while collecting their data sets because you can't reveal the information of the patient to to public so once that do this kind of the hurdles you can overcome then you can gradually start to collect data collection okay then you may have your own team you may have some volunteers who can go go there they can participate in those care in those in those trials now you see this influential area you can see like i we, we were making analogy with the healthcare domain with the approach you see the influential for example the united states there are multi billionaire doctors okay they basically sometimes play a very good role of the influentials in terms of the healthcare startups so they 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 provide the seed funding okay to make make some make 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 the, make the innovators okay they encourage them and and make the innovators uh, pro to to provide some solutions which can play a very very catalyst role in the in the in the medical domain so for example if you are developing the ai based solutions for these cancer detection purpose or this kind of that so it will not definitely replace the doctors because you see nobody knows human body better than the doctors okay they are studying five years for the mbbs and all those things but you see this kind of the apps will play the role of catalyst okay which will assist the doctors to to make the proper fast diagnosis and obviously it will it will be very good for the low cost affordable healthcare domain okay it will create, create an impact on low cost affordable healthcare domain now you see the vcs these are the venture capitalists so whenever you are you are basically starts your journey so for example you you, uh, you can approach to any incubation center okay so they will give you the seed funding 
Okay, so this set funding in Indian currency on an average, it is ranging from 25 lakh to 50 lakh. This is the set funding. Now you see this VC is basically once your prototype gets the success, now you want to expand your own company uh, I mean, in a large exchange. So after, for example, there will be a long period of three years. So uh, this this uh, th this incubation center will, will, will take some shake as well. So now gradually what will happen, for example, your company valuation at the initial level, is of one lakh. Okay, you have two partners, founder and co-founder, 50-50 partnership. So all of you are starting from 50k, 50k, and your valuation, initial valuation, one, one lakh. Now, gradually, what will happen that once your prototype gets success and you want to launch the product in a large exchange, so you have to build, take the help of the others as well. For example, you then the which is this which is venture capitalist will be funding crore in generally in Indian currency. 5 crore to 10 crore range, it varies, but on an average, I'm giving you some average figure. So they will also take some stake. So what will happen at the end of the day, the lot of people will come up into the picture. There will be some mentors, so mentorship charges we are there from 1% to 3%, they will take, take the stake. So it can be technology mentor, it can be the mentor who, is, who will guide you in your whole business process. So there a lot of people will gradually start to come up. Okay, so what will happen that at the end of the day, for any successful startup, Okay, for example, when you were starting from the beginning and up to five years of journey, on an average, year, if I am picking up the five years lock, lock period, when you, you, you can't take exit, you, your, your co-founder will not be able to take exit until or unless you are giving the exit to your investors. Okay, so this five years lock period of time, if you have a successful startup journey, that you and your co-founder will have the less than 10%, okay, less than 10% at the end of the startup journey. So for example, if you have, from the previous startup, startup successful startup history, I am picking up the figure. If you have the successful startup and you are now planning to take exit and you are planning to give the exit of all of your investors, so it will have the figure on, on an average 80 crore. Okay. Now, if you have the less than 10 percent, so that means you you and your co-founder now have the less than 8 8 crore. So, for example, for the sake of our easier calculation, we are considering that figure 7 crore. Okay, when your co-founder altogether at the seven crore. Now, if you are 50-50 partner, then what will happen? Each of you, what will, how many, how, how much money will left for each of you after five years of journey? 3.5 crore, 3.5 crore. So that means you started with 50K of each, each of you. Now you are landing up with 3.5 crore, 3.5 crore after five years. Okay. And your company valuation, which started with one lakh, after a successful five years journey, it is now 80 crore. So can you imagine the valuation you are being able to generate? Okay, so this is on an average, the, the overall journey of, of overall startup journey, which I am just telling you. Okay, so anyway, going back to our discussion. So you can also find out some of the known published challenges as well. There is, if we are, if we are looking for solving something new, something challenging, which have the mass level impact. Now you see you, the United Nations challenges are there. The Bill Gates Foundation provides also interesting, interesting challenges. National Sounds Foundations, or even in our India, DBT or DST, having a lot of, lot of, uh, they are they, every year they provide some fresh challenges. So you can address those challenges and you can, you can get some government grant as well. Now, in case of the grant, there are, if you, even if you success or fail, in those cases, you don't have the, the risk factors, okay? But, you, but government grants are quite encouraging. If you can get them, that is, that, is, that is also a very good, very, very good boost for your startup, startup journey as well. Now you see the user and beneficiaries angle. So basically graph of the user and use cases, you have to understand that, that who are, who are the, will be the users of your, of your product which you are planning of. So for example, in agricultural domain, if you are developing something, who are going to use it? So mainly the farmers and other people who are associated with farming. Okay, for example, if you are developing something related to crop predictions and some other things, okay, or, or, or uh, for example, that in, in those cases, who are going to be the, be the influencers? You have to spot out who will be the partners. You have to spot out why do we need research? That is a very, very important area. Because you see that there are a lot of existing technologies, okay, because in the last 10 years, we have seen due to the uh, government of India's encouragement, we have seen that a lot of people are nowadays getting interested in, 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 in entrepreneurship, okay, and, and, and we have seen some of the very good successful startups in Indian scenario. So already the competitors are there in the market. So what are the new things you are bringing down in the, such that people will be able to attract it on your product? 
or what will be the, your market penetration policy if there are so many players in the market what are, will be your policy so that research it will be in many many directions it can be related to market it can be related to your technology so many ways you can do the research okay and in those areas those areas the mentors play a very very vital role to guide you okay so so you can you have to understand that that there are many ways where, where you have to be very very careful enough because you see you are on a roller coaster ride so you have to be very very careful enough that in which way you can you can you can you can be successful in in, in your entrepreneurial journey now you see definitely speaking with experts i am not mentioning it separately already i have highlighted now if we are mapping the same thing with, with the healthcare domain for example we are taking the example of the agriculture we are mapping it with the healthcare domain so in case you can also can map your own domain the same problem so once you are mapping in the healthcare domain then what will be the factors you are you are thinking of so for example who will be the users for example if you are developing the ibis smartphone based solutions for the cancer detection purpose obviously the doctors obviously it will be the hospitals it will be the nursing homes they are going to use it right patients will use it now in those cases influencers i already highlighted that that, that in, we, we 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 have we you can see many more examples if you if you talk about any startups in united states who are in the medical domain who got the success that in those cases most of the cases doctors played a very very influential role of the very vital role of the influencers because there are a lot of multiplayer doctors and they have their own medical team they basically fund a lot of provide a lot of fund in terms of the medical related technologies okay and they basically also play a very very vital role for example if you are developing some app based solution so you know that before launching the app in the market there are alpha testing phase and beta testing phase so in the alpha testing phase the company people there will be a core group of company people who will basically make the validations once your validation pass from the alpha testing phase then in the beta testing phase there will be some people from the outside of your company they basically do the play the volunteer role they will provide their feedback to your app and then finally once your beta testing phase also gets success then you will be able to launch that in a similar manner in the healthcare domain the doctors what is the final word okay so if they are saying that this app is going to be launched then it will be launched otherwise not so there will be core medical team will be there they will basically validate the overall performances of the app and finally once they recommend it then it will go for the beta testing phase and finally it will be launched but remember that even if your app is detecting the Uh, the uh, providing the correct diagnosis for example it is it is saying that this particular patient may not have cancer kind of thing but if doctor feels that that person should do biopsy then you have to you have to allow him because you see like i told you that nobody understand the human body better than the doctors okay in healthcare domain i'm talking about because all the solutions what you are providing in those domain they are basically playing the role of catalyst okay that's it nothing else so uh it may happen that there there can be some hidden symptoms which you are going growing going in that particular uh, particular human cell or human tissue so doctors can only understand that so he may he may suggest them for the biopsy as well so there may be the cases okay where you have to understand that in each domain whenever you are proceeding okay user beneficiaries you have to understand very very well so graph of user user and use cases will be your influencers bias and sponsors partners potent potential partners where you can which, which will play a very what catalyst role in terms of growth of your your startup journey why do you need to do the research or speak speaking with the experts these are going to be play a very very significant role then definitely the breakthroughs benefits and risk factors so in the breakthroughs if, if you are getting success is fine but but you have to understand the what are the frictions okay so frictions can be related to the some of the regulation biases those things are there rules regulation you have to understand like i am saying one of the one of the most important example you see like i see a lot of lot of engineering students a computer app students from the computer application background okay another domain i have seen that, that there is very common tendency of the students that to come up with something interesting with drones okay they are very passionate about drones but unfortunately you see that you have to understand the rules regulation uh, related to the uh, drones okay because you see there are country wise uh, state wise even some local region wise rules regulation varies and you have to abide by the, those rules okay so in those cases okay so i am requesting the uh, kindly ask me the question at the end okay i will answer everybody's question nothing to worry about it so let me finish the please the my presentation i will definitely answer everybody's question so do not worry i will answer everybody's question so in those cases you see 
we, we, we often see some, some sort of the challenges. Okay, so uh, that's the reason you have to, you have to understand that whenever you are planning of something, some, some sort of technological solutions, you have to see that what are the rules, regulations are there, you should not violate it. And definitely one of the important things that which you have to keep it in your mind that the parallelic approach, like in the technology domain nowadays, you can see that there are two parallel approaches are coming up, okay? One, you can see the cloud-based approach. Another one, you can see the edge-based approach, okay? So for example, uh, you are nowadays, you can see whenever you are coming up with some smartphone-based solution. So what happens that we often see that in the, whenever you are deploying it, in storing data in cloud, you are deploying cloud analytics. So continuous sending data into the cloud is creating the congestion in cloud, okay? And we can see some latencies in the cloud whenever you, are get, you want to get some real-time outcome. For example, you are developing something in, in case of the financial domain for the fraud detection purpose, okay? Now in those cases, delay or, 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 or latency will create the problem in healthcare domain latency may create some problems so these are the case sensitive areas where the latency create problem so in those cases you see that we often see two kind of the approach parallel approach one is the cloud-based approach another one is the edge-based solution so what will happen that some portion of the data which are very much the uh, some portion of the data some complicated processing will be done in cloud okay where we have the higher processor power and the lightweight devices like smartphone Will be used for the edge computing part purpose okay so very small, smaller amount of the computation for the early diagnosis purpose or maybe uh, your fraud detection purpose can be done with the help of your smartphone based approach so these are the edge based approach so whenever you are coming up this kind of the solutions where your real-time prediction plays a very very vital role it can be the financial sector like the fraud detection in the banking sector or even in case of the healthcare domain these are the very very case sensitive area where you require a real-time outcome so in real time outcome, the tech based solution should provide this kind of the parallel tech approach. Okay, one is a cloud based approach, another one is your smartphone based approach, edge based approach. So in, it, these are the tricks you have to understand. You can see that uh, nowadays those, those 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 technologies which are giving you the real time solution, they are all coming up with the parallel tech approach. So these are the very nitty gritty thing which you require to understand. That like I told you that the if your philosophy is clear, once the picture is clear in front of you, then gradually it will be very much easier for you to provide this kind of the optimum solution. Okay, and the execution rates limiting limiting factors like the time time factor, lack of existing infrastructure factor. This these problems are also there. So whenever you are coming up with certain ideas, you have to understand these limitations first, and you have to check that how much support you can get from your institutes in incubation centers, or whether you have you can you can make some collaborations where you can you can where your lack of inter infrastructure supported can support can be overcome or not. So this kind of approach you may check out. Okay, financial risk factors are always there in the, in the startup journey. So now, now that's the reason people often try for to get some seed funding. Okay, they may invest their uh, own money as well. Sometimes we have seen that, but it will also government grants also play a very, very vital role there. So you have to see that that which approach is best suited for you. And in and that's the reason, as I always say, that incub being incubating is, is the one of the great great approach which you can think about it. Okay. Now in the next part, that, that is a problem canvas, you can see this is like, this problem canvas has been developed in the angle of the digital tech in agriculture, okay? The, te the techniques, for example, sensors, AI, crowdsourcing are there and the problem angles, if you see the greenhouses, crop predictions, farmer finances, weather stations, okay? So this problem canvas has been made on the basis of the digital tech in agriculture. Now you plan a map, you, you, this particular problem canvas for your own, own solution, think of it, make the brainstorming, for example, I am giving one idea in the healthcare sector, for example, what can be the problem if you are developing the smartphone-based AI -based solution for the cancer detection purpose, what will be the problem campus? Now, what is the standard practice in the in the in, in case of the healthcare domain? For example, if you're talking about biopsy, what is the shortcomings of biopsy? Well, it is it has an average accuracy level is 65 to 70 percent. For example, it takes two weeks time to come up with the report, quite costly, painful. So these are the these are the problems you may highlight. Now, whenever you go from the a problem canvas to the solution canvas. This is the solution canvas. Okay. Now you see what are the factors you can you can, you can observe. It, it has been made on the basis of the digital technical agriculture domain. Like cost, time, impact is given there. Scenarios have been highlighted like greenhouses sensors, greenhouses AI, greenhouses crowd steering, crop prediction sensors, crop prediction AI. Okay. This these angles have been highlighted here. Now if you are mapping the same thing in case of the healthcare domain, you can plan off your own domain. Try to map it. 
For example, if I try to provide the solution, like I, we have come up with some solutions with a smartphone based cancer detection purpose, then what are the benefits can be, it can provide? For example, with the help of the IBS algorithm, you can get the higher accuracy, 90 to 95 percent on an average. You can provide, generate the report within few minutes, where perhaps it takes two weeks of time. You can, it, it will be quite cheaper then the thousands times cheaper than the biopsy. If you charge smart scan from your smartphone, rupees 10 to 100, till it will be the thousands times cheaper than the biopsy. So these are the solutions you are providing. Also, it is a pain free. So this is this will be your solution canvas and cost and time and impact will be there because you see, whenever you are getting some grant or getting some seed funding, nobody will give you the whole funding together. Okay, the funding will be given certain interval. For example, they are giving you the fund and they, are, they want to check out, check out your progress for the next six months. So cost provided time and what are the impactful progress you are being able to make. First six months, once you have utilized that grant or fund of the first six months, okay, next fund will be disbursed. So in this way, you will get the support from the incubation centers or whenever you are talking about the other government grants, because nobody will provide the whole grant altogether. 25 lakh or 50 lakh, you will not get altogether. You will get in, get in few steps. You have to show that whether given given particular funding and given within the timeline, how you are utilizing the fund. So that's, that's a very, very vital role. So cost, time, impact, and what are the scenarios? What are the, these are the problem solution canvas that we have to figure out that now, that whenever you are coming up something, some, some, some kind of the product or something, related to that, what are the solutions you are providing in terms of the societal aspect? So that scenario should be highlighted here, okay, the solution canvas. The problem canvas, you have highlighted the problem. Solution canvas, you are highlighting the solutions. Now, once those things have been done in the final stage, this finding plot is going to give you the clear picture. Okay, so this is the cost. This is the time frame. Okay, I have, this is the, I have utilized my fund in this way and what are the solutions? Which, which you have provided, okay? So how you have achieved the target that will be highlighted in your finding plot. So that is only possible when your philosophy is clear. That is the thing I am saying that philosophy plays a very, very vital role. Thought process plays a very, very vital role in, in any kind of the journey, okay? And especially in the entrepreneurial journey where your mindset up should be very much strong, okay? Because you see, it's not, a, not, not an easy path. So that's the reason you have to be very, very careful enough that your finding plot just within cost and given time, how you are utilizing the fund and how you are, you are basically coming up with the, the, with the product which having the mass level solutions. So these things you have to be very, very careful enough right from the beginning, okay? Now, this, this will be definitely the milestones. If you see the map of users, resource requirement, dependence, risk, and workaround, steps, decision points. So these are the, in a nutshell, these are the, these are the main key points which you have to be very, very careful enough. Then this, this particular slide is very, very important. So nothing to worry about it. I will email the slide to the organizers. So help me a question. These nine meaningful questions, which are very, very important. So like in science, we worship Einstein. In technology domain, people worship Helmer. Okay, so these nine pertinent questions he has highlighted, which is the which are the which are the if you can answer those questions, that means you are clear about your journey. Okay, you are clear about what you want to do. So basically, what are you trying to do and articulate objectives without using jargon? So once you can explain the entire process without using jargon, that means you have understood the nitty-gritty of that particular area. Then finally, obviously, the second point, that is how it is done today and what are the limitations of current practice. Once that practice has the limitations, that would be the resource of your solution. Okay, that only then you can you can think about the, providing some sort of solutions. Otherwise, if some, everything is okay, then, then there is no scope of the improvement, right? Then what's new in your approach and why do you think that it will be successful? Okay. Who cares? Like we all those points you remember that we have discussed during during our resource map, problem canvas, solution canvas, and defining plots. We have addressed all those points. Then if you are successful, what difference will it make? What are the risks and payoffs? Okay, how much will it cost? Because you see, in the developing countries, being the part of the developing countries, we have if you are think think about the planning of something which have the mass level benefit purpose, then Definitely, the cost should be something which can be affordable by the common people. How long will it take? What are the midterm and the final exam to check for success? Like in app development, I highlighted that if, if, if you are planning of something launching the app in case of the healthcare domain, the core medical board will first review it. Once it, it gets this, gets get once it, it, they, they are providing approval, 
then some external people will be onboarded. Okay, they will check it during the beta testing phase, and finally it will be launched. So in in the, it will vary. The domain wise, it will vary, but there will be always some exams, midterm or final exam, to check for those success of or validation of your product. So Helmer, one of the is one of his prime inventions we often use in our daily life. That that is liquid crystal display. Okay, LCD. Okay, that is that has been invented by Helmer and his team. So anyway, so these are the nine questions, pertinent question, and this is a very, very vital slide on that particular angle. And now if you see the blink canvas, so if you see that problem, solution, key metrics, unique value proposition, unfair advantage, channel, customer segment, okay, score structure, revenue stream, this all plays a very, very vital role there. Okay, so one of those angles we, we are going to discuss very soon, others we have already co covered. So this is basically our app which we have developed for our this smartphone-based cancer detection purpose. Okay, now a few of the things impact on BOP level. Just I want to highlight. For example, with the help of our product, you can plan off in your case as well. Now you see in India there are more than ninety-six percent people under the bottom of pyramid category before pandemic and after pandemic it is there by ninety-nine percent. A lot of people lost their job. So that means this percentage of the people do not have enough money to pay tax. Now we have to, it is whatever may be our profession. We can be doctors, we can be engineers, we can be from a, some, some other profession, profession. Okay. It is our responsibility for being the citizen that if we, whatever little knowledge we have, if we can come up with something, solution, which can make the technology blessings to our human, human body, what can be better than that? If we can come up with some solutions which can be used by the mass level people, what can be better than that, right? So, because to try to understand that this percentage of the people having the under the bottom of pyramid category, so try to understand that if, if they have the diseases like cancer or something which are life threatening disease, then how much miserable will be their life to bear those expensive treatments? So, that's the reason I am saying that all of you, all of us have some intrinsic capability of doing something innovative. So, please put your efforts such that technology can become the blessings of human society. So if you see that impact on the BOP level, this is one of the important slide. So if you are thinking of to, to make something which can create the mass level impact, so please highlight those impacts on the BOP level. Pre prepare that kind of the slides when, when you are pitching in front of the investors. So for example, first solution, pain-free, early stage cancer diagnosis and low cost portable device, generating report in few minutes where perhaps it takes several times, Okay, several days time in second solution, third solution, automatic solution and highly efficient. Then go to the next slide that is that is also very, very important. There's a unique selling proposition. Okay, so whenever you are pitching for your product, make sure that you make this kind of the slides, okay, in, in that kind of format. So this is just a guidance for you guys. So replacing painful and cost-effective buffs, okay, under times cheaper than buffs and accuracy greater than 95%. Portable and lightweight, 80 times faster than biopsy. So in this way, you just highlight that what are the unique selling propositions, okay? This is a very, very vital slide for the youngsters who are planning their entrepreneurial journey, okay? Then definitely the business model, okay? So for example, SaaS model, software as a service. So rupees 110 to 100 per scan, okay? So till it is it is it is thousands times cheaper than BAP. So you can sell the device once at a time to hospital as well. So these are the things now. The, what will be your growth strategies? In our case, we have highlighted like the ongoing clinical trials in hospitals. So you can do the 50 to revenue sharing with doctors. In your case, you may highlight the similar kind of analogy. And this particular slide is very very important in terms of the competitive landscape of our innovation. That there are other market players. Okay how you are providing the optimum solution. Like in our case, we have highlighted few key features like low cost, accuracy, smart device, data driven and cloud-based. We are providing all the features uh, where others are not. So in your case, you have to show that, okay, that why people will go for your product, okay, and how you are going to sustain in the market in the, with respect to your competitors. So whenever you are making making your innovation journey, make sure that you are planning of, you are arranging the, arranging your overall, overall documentation in this way. So it will be easier for the mentors to guide you and it will be easier for the investors to having confidence, having confidence on you as well. So now you see, these are the just few of the media reports which has been highlighted as a part of our research success, like for the, for example, our the early diagnosis of the retinal disease detection or whether we, whenever we are talking about, about the early diagnosis of the cancer, cancer detection. Also our research on the cancer has been included in the syllabus of the IBPS banking, IS, UPS exam. Okay, and also we had the first runner-up in the in the in the NASA MIT hackathon in 2017. 
And also, we I got the already mentioned in the because of this kind of the innovative solutions, providing innovative solutions for the early diagnosis of cancer in the embassy of the Switzerland, only licenses. So now these are my uh, social media handle where you can connect with me if you require any guide related to during your entrepreneurial journey. Apart from the entrepreneurial journey, if you require any guidance related to data science, machine learning, deep learning, IoT, you can always feel free to contact me. Okay, my contact is there with Mr. Ravi Ranjan sir. Also have my contact. Um, uh, on also your your honorable HOD Anil Bikas Choudhury sir, very humble person, down to earth person. He also has my contact details. I think also in the audience, uh, Nandun Das is there. Just I want to highlight that he is one of the uh, one of the great 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 scientists. Uh, actually, I came to the entrepreneurship. He remained in the uh, in the in the in the science science doing the uh, ground ground breaking research in 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 Europe right nowadays. So he's also he is also my uh, my research partners in the, whatever the research I have highlighted here. So. We have started with research, then we came to entrepreneurship with the by developing the product from there. And in your in your case, you can plan up nowadays a lot of supports that has been provided by the colleges. You can take those supports and you can make your own journey. Okay, so uh, it's life is yours. Make your own plans. We are only the playing the role of catalyst. Okay, we can provide you some suggestions. Okay, and provide you some guidances, but make sure that those who are going to get the success those who are the basically the self-motivating person because God, God helped those, those who help themselves. Okay, so make sure that you are helping yourselves. And at the end, I just, before I wrap up, just one question I want to ask you, all of you. Okay, this is a very funny question. Nothing, um, I mean, there is no science and technology behind that. Okay, then I will take the question from the, all the respected audiences who have asked me the question. So what is the difference between a film director and a computer vision scientist? This is a very funny question. Okay, no science or technology behind that. This is just for fun. What is the difference between a film director and a computer vision scientist? Anybody from the audience, if you want to answer, try it out. Please try it out. Okay, so let me tell it because already it is 8 p.m. So film director says light, camera, action, right? All of we, all of us know. And a computer vision scientist say light, camera, pixel. Okay, so that's the difference. Uh, just as just a funny side of it anyway so please feel free to ask me the question whatever the question you have if i know i will definitely answer it uh hello sir yes yes madam kindly go ahead uh thank you oh. so much so for giving us such a kind words of yours you have taught so many things to us and this are going to really help all of us in our future so much I would like to ask everyone that if you have any question, please provide it in the chat box. Uh, we will be, uh, sir, we'll be answering it very soon. Am I audible to everyone? Hello? Am I audible to everyone? Yes, yes, madam, you are audible. You are you are completely audible. Yes, uh, everyone, please have your questions. And so, I would like to say, uh, I would like to ask you about uh, what you uh, like. You know, this uh, Techno India University is so much into entrepreneurship. Like uh, they focus too much on entrepreneurship, and uh, even our director, sir, uh, um, is uh, uh, and. Uh, or the Ms. Uh, Mr. Roy Choudhury, he is also, and her wife also, she's into the sustainability development. And so we are very lucky to get them and they are focusing on us. They're having us like the subject. So I want to ask you like how to like start exactly. Like uh, many people are there, those who doesn't have this uh, finance or sponsorship, that is the main thing. They have the idea, but they doesn't get this sponsorship. So what to do then? Okay, so one 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 way I just want to highlight that nowadays you see that getting there are a lot of government schemes and grant policies are there. First of all, you have to figure out that in which domain you are contributing. Okay, then you have to check that what are the supports you are going to get from your uh, incubation center. Okay, so whether that domain experts are there or not, that is that also plays a very very vital role because you see you require the mentors whether it is technological angle or whether it is a go to market strategy angle, you require mentorship. Okay, so first of all, figure out that what are the resources you will have, okay, that in, from your vicinity you can get. And then 
obviously make sure that the more you will go by the software based approach the lesser will be your overall development cost okay because you see that the more you will ever going with the hardware based approach the more will be the the cost will be much more higher because let me tell you one particular theme which has been launched by MIT in 2012 the softwares are the new hardwares okay and in 2017 the theme has been adopted by infosys they just made the plural to singular that software is the new hardware so basically they want to imply that because you see like i was mentioning about the bop level of, of our developing countries so a lot of people under the uh, under the bop level in our developing countries so we, we we don't have enough money to pay tax most of the people in the developing country angle so you in that particular angle whenever we are talking about we have to think about the software based approach because you see from 1990s, the software based approach era has started. You see all the Pythonic platform. Now, for example, we are talking about, often talk about the cloud based solution. Okay. Nowadays, if you even from the cloud kitchen to a crop prediction based app or weather cancer detection app, we often talk about this kind of the cloud based approach, right? So, how can you do the cloud communicator? Nowadays, this is the computer application department who are organizing it. All of you know that the cloud communicator languages are the Java, Python. And these all are the open source languages. So take the benefit of the open source language. Okay, in the product development purpose, if, if you see, if you are following the AI based approach, if you talk about the all the Pythonic platforms, okay, like the Keras, TensorFlow, PyTorch, all these are the highly Pythonic platform. Okay, so if you know Python, you can apply them. You can run your code on Colab without, without, without paying a cost. You can you can you can request Google for the getting the the Google Google Cloud support. Okay, so they will provide you some credit where you can approach. You can you can apply your algorithms and you can make the processing of your large extent of data. You can get that get that get that required data data sets from the Kaggle GitHub. There are many resources out there. So right from the agriculture to 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 banking system to medical domain, everywhere the data is available. You can download data, make some make some believe I mean believable prototype. Then if you approach approach to your domain approach to the influencer domain influencers they are going to definitely help you like i told that first of all for example in healthcare domain you are making something so first of all you have to develop something which the doctors can trust on okay then then only they will allow you to make some trial on on their hospitals so that's the reason that in every sector for example in agricultural domain if you are planning something so a lot of government grants funds are available there so make sure that the most most of the things nowadays world it will be quite wise for you to make software kind of approach the more you will involve the software the overall hardware i mean overall the cost will be reduced so for example you see earlier days people used to uh, people generally used to uh, use the for example this optical fiber probe to collect the tissue samples of the cancer nowadays with the mobile phone camera you can also do that so mobile phone camera is replacing the optical fiber probes okay we are whenever we are going out of our house okay earlier days it was mandatory to carry wallets nowadays your phone pay paytm app can do the job so are you getting my point so what is happening it's not about ignoring the hardware there is no class between hardware and software what i'm saying that this is a tricky way in your initial days of your startup journey that if you start relying on the softwares then overall development product development cost will be reduced a lot because of the open source era because in the last 30 years, thanks to the Linux Community Foundation and those great scientists, computer scientists, those who have come, contributed a lot to develop the programming languages like Python, R software, so okay, Weka, they contributed a lot. And nowadays you see the, the, the benefit. Okay, whenever you see new hackathons are coming up, all the young stars are winning it from the remote colleges, remote universities. Earlier it was not possible. But how they are winning it? Because they are getting those blessings of this open source era. Okay, so we have to rely on the software based approach more. That's what I want to say. Okay, there is no class between hardware and software. You can do that nowadays also take the facilities of the IoT Internet of Things best, best approach. For example, you can easily make some make some make your own IoT based lab with a very lesser paying very lesser amount of money. And you can develop your product as well. Also, along with this open source softwares, IoT also played a very, very vital role in terms of developing the low cost based approach. Because you see what I am saying that at the end of the day, being the being the we are all are belonging to our society, we have some responsibilities. So it is our duty to come up with something such that mass level people can use it. Okay, people from those people who are in the under belong to the bottom of pyramid category, if they can get that kind of the benefit, then what can be better than that? Let, let us make the technology blessings to our society, not the cars, right? 
So, so let us let us take a bow that all the young stars who are belonging to Techno India University, I know, like from the Megdu Rai Choudhury to Ravi Ranjan, everybody is doing doing their hard job. They like to make 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 this university better, and they are nurturing the this entrepreneurship culture very well. Also, the able guidances of our honourable Anil Bikas Choudhury sir is also there. Everybody is doing doing their hard job to make 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 this entrepreneurial journey successful. And we can see that there is another program has been launched. To and to and nurture the entrepreneurial culture, MBA in entrepreneurship, innovation, and venture development. So these type of programs are there. So you can you can you can talk with the domain experts, take the help of the incubation centers. But make sure, make one thing in mind, like I told you, that resource mapping, problem canvas, solution canvas, and finding plots. Follow these paths. You are going to get this definitely get the success in your entrepreneurial journey. But determination should be there, basic background research should be there, and try to follow the software approach. Don't forget, the motto has been launched by MIT for all the, the innovators belonging to the developing country that softwares are the new hardware. That's the reason they told that told about it. Thank you so much uh, for giving me this reply, and it was really th um, I'm so much grateful to you. Like it will be helping most me welcome, so much. Most welcome. Thank you. And uh, we have another question from Shomadeep De, uh, the student of a student of our uh, batch. Uh, he is asking uh, that there are many entrepreneurs how to build a startup on preliminary level. Okay, so like I told you that first of all, whenever you are getting some idea, make sure that you form a team. Okay, so if you have some co-founders or make a good team. Now, how will you form the team? Take a note of it. those who are the young stars are hearing this term for the first time. Please take a note of the term. That is the skills matrix matching. Skills matrix matching. Okay, for example, you are very strong in, in for example, I'm saying you're very strong in Android app development. Okay, now it may happen that you're, you're, you're one, of the, one of the team members is very strong in AI. There may be another team member is very strong in marketing. Now, once these three people are coming together, Whatever the challenges we will give to you, you at least if you are even if you are not getting success, you can make make some make some uh, progress in the positive direction. Okay, rather than always try to form the team with the skill setups of hetero, skill setups with by doing the skill matrix matching, rather than with having the same setup of skills. Okay, so in that way you can make the progress. So team formation is plays a very very vital role in in, in especially in this kind of the startup based approach. Okay, so that's the reason follow the skills matrix matching across the world, all the top companies like from the Walmart, Google, everybody works in a skill matrix matching based approach. All the top institutes, MIT, Harvard, Stanford, they also forms the skill team with the on the basis of the skills matrix matching based approach. So skills matrix matching plays a very very vital role in the for team formation of this startup. Okay, then. Once your skills skills are within your team, you don't have to outsource it. Okay, so make a reliable prototype. Then go to your incubation centers. There are people like Ravi Ranjan, okay, whom you can trust blindly. Just go there, discuss with them. They are going to guide you. Okay, and whatever that it, 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 if, 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 if any technological development require, you can take help from mentorship support from your professors. Okay, there are there are quite great professors are there in your there in your university. They are also there to guide you. Okay, and any any help require if you any other help require, you can also approach me as well. I am also associated with Technic University recently as a visiting faculty in the management department. So you can you can approach me as well. So we people are there to guide you. Okay, but make a proper team. And remember the terminology, all the youngsters, those who are there, please remember the terminology, skills, metrics, matching, okay? Thank you so much, sir. I hope, Shomodip, you have got your answer. And uh, there's one more question by Akasdeep Chanda. He's asking that, how, how can we earn the trust of the financial for our startup? Like I told you, that if you, if you can show some workable prototype, Everybody going to trust you. See, people know those who are the financiers. They are quite veteran. They are quite wise. Okay, so they know that that which type of the innovations are going to get this get this success in the market. Okay, so once we have the workable prototype, they see the confidence of the team. They are definitely going to fund you. So nothing to worry about it. First, follow the skills matrix matching, and then from the team. Once the likely minded people will be in the same team, you guys are going to create the miracle. Okay. Trust me, you are going to create the miracle. All of you have the great potential. Okay, so we have trust on yourself and go ahead. Okay, don't worry. 
Thank you so much, sir. I hope so, Akazip, you have got your answer from sir. Uh, anybody else have any other questions? Please put it forward. I think so. People are done with their questions. You have said it so nicely that they doesn't, doesn't have questions right now. And you are obviously, you are there as a visiting faculty. Anytime anyone can go and ask you. Sure, sure. Anytime, anytime. Any student facing any difficulty, feel free to ask me. Or honorable Onal Bikas, Onil Bikas Choudhury sir has my contact details. Raviranjan has my contact details. You can also collect it from this Homodip Das sir. So anytime, if you feel any any help required from me, please feel free to approach me. No, nothing to worry about it. Okay. Just have the self belief, self confidence is the main thing. Make a proper team. All of you will get the success. Have your have the have, have faith on your capability. Be confident, but don't be overconfident. Okay. Be confident. Okay. You definitely will get the success. All of you will get the success. Nothing to worry about. It. So we have another question from okay, sure. Titi Parna Sen. Uh, she's asking, while being an entrepreneur, there are certain challenges we will be facing to build our innovation. How to overcome those challenges? So first of all, you have to see that what are the resources you are lacking? Okay, and if you were if you were thinking about the product development angle, so like I told you that the more you will go with the software based approach, the challenges will be lesser. Okay, because many things you will get from the open source material, but in case any if you are if your product is is relying on some sort of the hardware, there may be some challenges you may face. That in every institute you can't expect that every time of the facilities will be there. So in those cases. You can collaborate with with some other institute where those kind of the facilities are there okay so first of all you have to figure out that what are the challenges that's the reason if you see my slides what i've highlighted that you have to figure out that what are the in-house resources you can get and what are the outsourcing you have to depend upon so if you can address those challenge and and if you can deal with those things smartly definitely you'll be you'll be able to get the success so always be collaborative mindset up okay so a lot of collaborations are happening and you have to you have to be in, in, in that kind you have to grab that kind of the collaboration in case you are you are facing some challenges it may happen that it is not possible everything to to get from your own team or from your own institute so in some cases you have to you have to be um, you have to be smart enough to collaborate and then resolve those challenges thank you so much sir uh, I hope so, Titi Parna, you have got your answer from... And obviously, we are there definitely to guide you, to help you in collaboration as well. Nothing to worry about it. But first of all, figure out that, that what are the help you require. Okay. Okay, thank you so much, sir. You have just said so nicely to everyone. Like, people are just writing, thank you, sir, for your advice, for your advice. And they're so much happy with, like, you being our faculty. It's like a great thing for all of us. So I would like, sir, if you like, this would be like, oh, again, see, this is like the chat box is full with thank you, sir, and thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you can just check it. All of you are most welcome. All of you are most welcome. Thank you so much, sir. We are so much blessed to have you right now. So after this, uh, I would like to say, everyone, please do not leave. I think, sir, are you done with your work? Then I will be moving forward to my things sure sure i'll go ahead so i think everyone uh so i think everyone please do not leave the meeting right now we will be giving you a feedback form and you have to fill up the feedback form and your certificates will be issued based on that so please do not leave and fill up that form and now i would like to call upon like to hope or give over the mic to our Honorable HOD, sir, Mr. Anil Bikash Chaudhary, sir. Sir, please, are you here, I think, Hello. to say some Am words and give the vote of thanks. Am I audible? Hello? Yes, sir, you're audible. Okay. okay. Uh, first of all, uh, I will thank the organizers for organizing this nice uh, gathering of women. Now, the next thing is what I will uh, thank Professor Sabbosati Mukhopadhyay for uh, being here, uh, for delivering his valuable speech with a very nice and simplified presentation, uh, which have, uh, I think, encouraged at least some of our students, or maybe uh, most of them, uh, all of them. I hope that 
uh, so um, uh, well, students, we have here, yeah, we have our plan for this type of innovative ideas. Uh, actually, we have, we have started uh, entrepreneurship uh, skill development program from the very uh, starting of our university. And it is inbuilt in our course. Every, in every semester, every student uh, is required to submit a report regarding that what he or she has thought over uh, some entrepreneurship development plan and how he or she is going to implement it. In the odd semester, they are to show the presentation and in the even semester, they are to implement the idea. So uh, uh, the students, most of, uh, most of them, we see that most of the students have made it just a formal writing of uh, just uh, presentations uh, to I give some software ideas, etc. Cetera, et cetera. They do not uh, think over uh, the implementation of that in reality. So if you are really interested and if you are really encouraged uh, with the um, uh, speech and the valuable knowledge given by Professor Shapo Shachi uh, I think this is the time is now you start up uh, right uh, now with your ideas, uh, your ESD uh, presentations uh, should be based on that. You give me your uh, innovative ideas and don't think about the financiers. I will give you the financiers, I am promising here. It is on record. I will give you the financiers if, you, uh, uh, if your ideas are um, found to be innovative and I'll, we shall uh, also take the uh, 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 patents of that idea and uh, uh, for the uh, incubation also we can go for that. Okay, so uh, I thank everybody to join this session and hope that uh, you will uh, be taking a lot of ideas from this session and you will be uh, implement those ideas, you will be materializing those ideas in your real life, not just a, uh, just words of thanks uh, will suffice. Okay. So thank you everybody. Thanks to Sagata Das also for uh, conducting this uh, webinar in a very nice way and uh, all others who have uh, acted properly, who have acted nicely to make it a success. Thank you very everybody. Thank you so much uh, to join us and your, for your kind words. Uh, I would like everyone to please go through the chat box. Uh, Shomadip sir has sent you a link out there. Please fill up the form and your certificates will be provided accordingly. Thank you so much, Sabbe Sachi sir. Thank you so much, Anil Vikas sir. Thank you so much to Shomadip sir, Gopal Purakait sir. Uh, <coughs> you guys have been great. And uh, thank you so much for being us, for being with us for mentoring us we are going through in a very like this we are very young at this age and we need the correct mentorship to go ahead in our life for a successful life i wish i think like that and i think so everybody is agreeing to me that we have got great teachers great minds to encourage us to mentor us throughout our college journey so I'm just giving everyone some time if you have uh, if you just uh, take the time and for fill up the form and then we would be ending our meeting. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the kind invitation. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Hello, am I audible? Yes, sir, you're audible. Uh, so I'm waiting for another uh, max five minutes. Okay, uh, then I will end. Maybe some of them are still filling the form because the chat box will disappear. And I'm very thankful, Suspadagar, to make your time and make it happen. 
like we had been talking through this a uh, very long time <laughs> from the past week so it's very kind thank you, you so much i'm very honored that you have chose me to conduct this session and i'm thank you so much to all the faculty members they have given me such a good respect uh, so uh, this yeah, session everyone those who have attended the have done with the filling of the google form then we can close the session yes sir definitely i would like everyone to please go through and do not miss if you miss this feedback form your certificates will not be provided so please go on and fill up the form that has been given by so modip sir the link is provided please go on okay so it's done uh, so we will take a leave uh, thanks for the evening and it's time okay thank you thank you so much sir